What is going on everyone? So today I wanna to cover SEALS Q, which is a quantum computing stock that has caught my eye recently with a huge 46% move over the last couple trading days. Today I am going to do a deep dive into a company that I have recently invested in, ticker symbol LAES. I've gone in and done a lot of deep dive research. I'm gonna cover a lot in a short period of time. If you like content like this, please consider liking or subscribing if I've earned it. Without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so let's get right into the chart. So as we can see from the low of $1.95 at the bottom of this wick all the way to our close on Friday, we had a 46.41% move with seals Q, and there was a big catalyst for this this rally might just be getting started because quantum computers are going to have the power to break through rsa encryption and companies like seals Q are going to be high in demand there was a recent ceo letter which we're going to cover in depth which breaks down their financials their mission as a company and an acquisition that they're eyeing so we got a lot in store. Let's keep going. So in this CEO letter to shareholders, I've already gone in and highlighted what I think are some relevant parts. Um, this shareholder letter was certainly a massive catalyst for recent momentum. As we can see in the chart, we were down under $2 and now we're trading closer to $3 just in two trading days. So what's been going on here? By successfully cleaning our balance sheet, we have removed any obligation to secure additional convertible loans, further enhancing our financial flexibility and positioning Seals Q for a future centered on innovation, strategic growth, and operational excellence. Looks like Seals Q has a $93 million sales opportunity pipeline. Our robust opportunity of $93 million on top of clients and projects that we have already won over the next four years through the end of 2028, reflect our confidence in the growing demand for Seals Q solutions. Of these opportunities, over 40 of them relate to TPM, quantum resistant technology. The increasing adoption of quantum resistant security will be a key driver of our long-term growth strategy. Exclusive agreement to acquire IC Elf. So thank you. There's a community member, um, and I'll put a screenshot up on the screen here, um, who mentioned this IC Elps acquisition. So in a strategic move to enhance our semiconductor design capabilities, SilsQ has entered into an exclusivity agreement to acquire IC Elp, subject only to due diligence and government approval. The rapid advancement of AI has intensified the demand for a robust post-quantum security solutions. SEALS-Q quantum-resistant semiconductors will play a pivotal role in securing AI-driven applications, ensuring trusted data exchange, protection of intellectual property, and compliance with evolving cybersecurity regulations. Looks like SEALS-Q has a cash reserve of $85 million at year-end that peaked at over 90 million in January of 2025. So for a company of this size, they seem to have pretty decent financials. A strong path forward. So SEALS-Q is well positioned to enhance and expand its international footprint, secure additional key partnerships, scale production capacity, develop post-quantum ACICs, and strengthen cybersecurity ecosystem. So I wanna go into the merger, but before I do that, let me just give you my top three reasons why I opened pretty good position in Seals Q as a long-term investment. One is quantum cybersecurity is going to be an increasing theme. Companies are going to need to make their information quantum safe. Number two, we tend to be reactive and not proactive. So SEALS-Q is 
proactively moving in front of the massive tsunami of demand that's about to come. Number three, bad actors, cyber criminals, adversarial government entities right now are collecting data sets. They're storing them on hard drives for the day when quantum computers are powerful enough to crack that encryption. So companies like this come at the intersection of cybersecurity and safety and privacy and a new digital era of quantum computing that renders previous cryptography obsolete. Okay, so let's look at IC Alps. So IC Alps has posted on their website, leveraging Seals Q expertise in quantum resistant chip technology and IC Alps proven track record in ACIC design. This partnership is set to revolutionize the development of secure integrated circuits. Together, we aim to streamline and design manufacturing processes while meeting the most stringent application specific requirements. The collaboration between IC Alps and Seals Q exemplifies the dynamic and innovative spirit of the French semiconductor system. The partnership showcases how mid-sized high-tech companies can unite their expertise to fast track the development of cutting edge products that not only meet market demands, but rival the capability of larger corporations by combining Agility with innovation, we are setting a benchmark for excellence in the competitive global semiconductor industry. So if we look at Jean-Pierre, who's on the Seals Q team, we see that he has a background in technical marketing, system engineering, operations, and global security at WiseKey, and currently is the EVP at Seals Q. So there's a imminent threat also to crypto and blockchain and Bitcoin and all of these current methods that our best supercomputers would take millions of years to crack. An advanced quantum computer could render all of those technologies obsolete. Seals Q Corp, NASDAQ ticker symbol LAEIS, has launched the QS7001 post quantum secure chip to protect crypto wallets against emerging quantum computing threats. The innovative hardware solution implements quantum resistant cryptographic algorithms recommended by NIST to safeguard digital assets. There's billions, if not trillions of dollars in crypto and blockchain protecting that money will become more and more important in the coming years as quantum computers advance. We had a great article from Seeking Alpha who just yesterday posted their article, Seals Q, Quantum Computing Plus Semiconductors Plus Blockchain. So this acquisition, all right, so let's dig into the Seeking Alpha article. So Seals Q, current focus includes data collection, user identity security, and customizable microcontrollers. Despite uncertainty, Silk's Q has existing revenue, is trading at a lower multiple compared to peers, and offers a better risk reward potential. Unlike some other companies in the quantum computing space, Silk's Q has already has revenues and has positive adjusted EBITDA in FY 2022. And Silk's Q's revenue growth looks strong with a CAGR of 27% since FY 2020. From a risk reward point of view, Seals Q is a more secure with its revenue than some of its competitors who are only hoping for revenues that may appear in the future. Seals Q is in fact already has projects and customers that generate revenue. I thought this comment was interesting. Don't know who it's from, but this is a theme that I see over and over and over again um, in different media that I am looking at related to quantum computing. So what's happening right now is there are bad actors that are stockpiling encrypted data for 
future decryption using quantum advancements. In response, many companies have already begun transitioning to quantum resistant encryption to mitigate the risk. So that's the beauty of where SILS Q and ICLPS are, is that growing demand to secure these data stockpiles are going to have, that demand is just going to increase over time. Okay, heading over to the SEALS Q website, we're just gonna look at a couple of pages and then wrap this video up. So be prepared for the quantum threat. Learn about post-quantum cybersecurity best practices and use our tutorials to walk yourself through all the key implementation sets. Best practices, protect your hardware, conduct a cryptographic inventory, adopt hybrid cryptography, begin pilots with PQC, post-quantum cryptographic algorithms, collaborate with industry standards. And then we're jumping over to a different section of the site called the quantum threat. So existing public key cryptography is based on the difficulty of factoring and calculating elliptic curve discrete logarithms. Quantum systems can develop unbelievable calculation power to decrypt widely used asymmetrical security protocols, such as the commonly used RSA or elliptical curve algorithms that protect billions of IoT devices today. Quantum computers are machines that use the property of quantum physics to store data and perform computations. This can be extremely advantageous for certain tasks where they could vastly outperform our best supercomputers. We are entering a new era in which the quantum computer will replace in some cases classical computers and will be able to solve within reasonable time issues that were known to be unsolvable. We see that SealsQ Corp is a wise key company so as we're doing our due diligence on any company, we wanna also look at the parent companies. And as I was looking into a wise key, I see that in 2021, their stock price peaked at $52. Let's look at the full timeline. Uh, they've had a sell-off until recently where they've seen an increase in their stock price related to this quantum push. So it looks like a company that had a lot of promise and hype. And then we had the pandemic and it was WiseKey was a company that never really bounced back until just recently. So if we look at WiseKey, they list SEALs Q, SEAL SQ. So we've had a massive move from LAES of 50% in just a couple of trading days, almost 50%. We have, we, we have known catalysts in the coming month, including NVIDIA's GTC quantum computer track with many heavyweights from around the quantum computer world, including the CEO of Rigetti, including the CEO of D-Wave, Quantinium, and many, many other. We also have the Qubits 2025 conference, which I'll personally be attending, and I hope to bring some interesting content back for the channel. And outside of those catalysts, we just see headlines out of China. We see the major tech players like Amazon, Microsoft. We see Google and IBM pushing forward on their quantum roadmaps. So it does make sense that companies that specifically focus on post-quantum cybersecurity will do well, are likely to do well. So that's why I opened a position in LAES. And of course you should do your own due diligence, but I thought I would give LAES a deep dive and its own video. Keep it on your radar for March of 2025. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks everyone.